Okay, I just wanted to put a quick video out to explain so people had some questions about uh, cutting and engraving in different layers. Uh, so I'm going to start with just a simple circle and then we will import uh, our snowflake ornament. Uh, this is not going to be a design or a, uh, a longer video. Uh, I just want this to be a quick video to explain. I, I will have a longer video uh, shortly, probably next week sometime, that will go into detail um, this technique. But I just wanted to put this out there very quickly uh, so you could see how to do it properly. Alright, so we'll have the ornament here. We'll delete these. And I'll just move this let me get this a little bit bigger. Okay, so the question is if you have an ornament and if you hit Control D, you can duplicate a part. Oops. Uh, so let's say we had this ornament here and uh, this snowflake we wanted to cut out and engrave at the same time. Uh, so the way that I would go about doing that is select the whole entire uh, piece here. Now make sure you have it sized where you like it and mark it for the cut layer. So then you hit control D and that will create a duplicate. Now when you hit control D everything is already selected so we're going to put that on another layer and this layer is going to be our engraving layer. So we're going to hide the first layer and that just leaves actually let's let's hide the second layer first. So we'll do this first. So with the second layer we're going, or with the first layer selected, excuse me, we are going to weld these together. So this is our cutout of our outside grid. So now we'll hide that and we'll select our inside grid. Now we have two items that we want to engrave so we're going to select this circle control D for duplicate. Now that inner, that circle is selected holding shift we're going to select that order, that snowflake. We're going to do this right here, which is the Boolean intersection of two shapes. We do that and it just gives us the inner shape. So then we select the circle again and we select the snowflake and we do the Boolean intersection again. So now we just have our two engravings, but that's not good because we don't want to engrave this line here. So with this selected, we're going to go to arrange. We're going to go to break apart. And now what that does is it breaks this snowflake into each line is its own little um, part. So we're going to go to break apart on this one and we're just going to take those straight lines and delete them. So with the straight lines deleted we're going to put our cut layer back and now it will just cut the outside and it will just engrave the inside. So if you had text here uh, snowflake. Shrink that down. So now what it will do is it will engrave and we also want to make sure we have our engravings first because once you cut it out this ornament will drop down in your tray. So we have this will engrave, this line will engrave, and then it'll stop and then it'll go around and cut everything out. So I hope that answers anybody's questions. Uh, please keep the questions coming. I will have, like I said, an in-depth video. Hopefully next week that will go over this. I'm going to have a new design coming out next week. Um, but in the meantime, if you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment or send me an email even.